just tweak it to your likings. Um, okay, can even blur this a bit. Okay, and now comes uh, the melting effect. We're going to this frame where it starts to appear and apply the effect distortion liquid. This is a very powerful effect. I don't know what this is option is called in English version, which is something like distortion grade or such. However, if you find it, just turn the keyframes on, then go to the last frame, and then uh, use this tool to uh, just drag the effect to your likings. Since I'm going for a melting wall, I'm just going to well drag it down a bit. Okay, uh, something's not right. Okay. Okay, I guess I just uh, messed things up. So. Okay, I know what is the problem. I used here another uh, adjustment layer set to normal and I set the fractal noise transfer mode to multiply. Okay, it's going to, to look the same but we're able to uh, mess with the liquid filter. Okay, you can already see what I did. I just used this filter to drag the effect and to paint it the way I like it. I know this is a bit overdone here, but um, it's just to make sure that I can demonstrate this effect to you. Okay, now if you uh, move through the timeline, you can see how this thing starts melting around. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to place this uh, into our composition. Uh, again, I uh, rendered it in advance. So, I placed it here and set its mode to uh, lighten up. Here you have the result. Lighten up helps it to look a bit more realistic and to blend a bit better with the wall but it's not kinda glowy enough so I'm just going to duplicate that burn mark set its mode to add okay it makes quite a difference so we're going to blow the hell out of it go to fast blur and set it to like 80 which will uh, give it a better glowing look you can also see that I uh, animated the color First it starts all like uh, more yellow and then it becomes more uh, red in the end. However, you can still tell the motion of the liquid wool. Okay, that looks pretty fine. So I made a final composition. I put all that stuff in. Okay, now what's still missing is uh, sparks, lens flare, and smoke. I just used uh, Adobe After Effects Particle Playground to create some uh, digital sparks with particles. See, I set the transfer mode to add again and just animated them, made the uh, Origin of the particles followed the lightsaber, and yeah, just let them flow around. Next thing I did was I set up a lens flare again on a new black layer, set to add. Of course, made the origin of the lens flare again follow the lightsaber as ever, and I made it flicker in a similar way to the lightsaber. I just uh, used the wiggler on the brightness and the luminosity of this lens flare. 
Then I used, um, you know, blurring and levels to get rid of those um, ugly artifacts we all hate. Okay, and the last part I did was I added a new black layer set to normal and give it a animated mask. You see, it starts out like that, a five point mask, and becomes like uh, that in the end. So it's, it pretty much kind of blows up. See? Okay, then I added some fractal noise to it and animated the fractal noise. I just made it uh, rotate a bit to the left. You see, the starting value is zero and the end value is like uh, 18. And I also changed the evolution so this sm that smoke would uh, look like it's actually moving and doing something. It starts with zero and ends with uh, nearly two. And I also made uh, the fractal noise move a bit. You see, in the end it is up here, but it started uh, down here. You can see how it travels. So that makes uh, the smoke look like it's actually moving. And I think for a uh, very fast, very basic effect, that's actually not too bad. So this is what the whole stuff looks like in the end, put together. See the smoke? Now, uh, if you just come up with something like I did and dig out some uh, lightsaber and force lightning sound effects you can also make this even more fancy okay well i guess that about covers it so i hope you could follow my tutorial you liked it Hopefully you uh, learned something from it. Um, well, I guess thanks for watching. Um, fan filmers, just go ahead and use this actually pretty easy, but pretty awesome looking effect on your fan films. Just let you it. Jedi characters cut through doors and walls. Um, I guess it would be really cool to see. So go ahead, play with this method. Come up with your own and rock on. If you have any questions or comments to leave, feel free to do so. Uh, if you're stuck with something, if you need help, just ask me and I'll try to help you out. Uh, well, however, uh, the main thing is that you just have fun with the stuff and just keep making awesome work. Well, See you soon.